Hey guys, RC here, back with episode 96, Football Manager 19. We are back a little early, uh, early January, so we're just into the transfer window. And that's because we are kicking off uh, the FA Cup. So we definitely want to pay a little attention to that. But let's take a look at our schedule, since our loss is there. Uh, we were coming back for the Manchester uh, double hitter. We may adjust that at this point. Uh, we actually uh, beat Aston Villa 2-0. Jake Robinson, Claren Malone with a stoppage time goal. Uh, then another 2-0 victory over Burnley. Uh, Alfonso Daniel, our midfielder. Anthony Thompson with goals. Uh, not getting much from our strikers. Huddersfield, a third consecutive 2-0 clean sheet. Aguilera scored again. Danny Olmo returned from a uh, his yellow card suspension and uh, a slight injury and uh, scored in the 91st minute. 1-0 uh, over Southampton. Sid Ahmed Tuati uh, scored off the back line. Fours on a set piece. And then we lost 1-0 uh, to West Ham. I went into the 4-1-4-1, uh, the four, one, four, one, lost, got called out in the press for uh, being betrayed by my tactic tactics. Uh, then we beat Bolton 4-0. Uh, Franachini finally broke his goalless drought with a brace. Brendan Taylor scored Jake Robinson. That was his, uh, if I remember correctly, that gives him six on the season. And there's a pretty hefty fee to pay if he scores 10 goals. <laughs> so if he's, we, we kind of need him to score since nobody else is. And then Everton's struggling this year, but we do beat them 3-2. Uh, Ahmed Tuati got a goal for us. He also scored an old goal for the other side. Uh, Jake Robinson scored again, and Brendan Taylor scored. So we had a 3-0 lead after 14 minutes, and then we surrendered two goals and held on for the victory. So taking a look at the competitions, uh, we are in eighth position. We had actually moved up uh, ahead of Man United for Europa spots uh, for one match, but uh, they've come back. And of course they have one in hand, uh, two, two points up on us as well. We have one on one in hand for clubs behind us, the one we're getting ready to play. So we can get to 38 on 21 which keeps us in the hunt. So uh, also, real quick, I got a new contract. Uh, I was making three point, three point something per year. It came out to like $1.8 million after taxes. 6.1 million per year, 3.2 after taxes. I tried to put in some uh, some player clauses, you know, with like, you know, they've got a 35% uh, relegation salary cut. And uh, I put in for a 5% contract raise per year. I asked for bonuses for qualifying for Europa, Champions League, and winning the premiere was $1.2 million, which was the default option. Uh, so actually, you know, the lowest that I guess it would go. And uh, they refused that out of hand. Uh, they came back uh, deleting all of those, just going with the base money. So that was a little disappointing. Uh, transfer wise, uh, we have made one move pending. Chris Courtney is going to the MLS. Uh, here in a month. So, of course, transfer window closes on the end of January. We're going to have to play him up to that point because he is playing a little bit, uh, 12 starts this year, but we are letting him go. Uh, we are, and, and kind of regretting it because uh, he was uh, English, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, so we're getting rid of him. Uh, I had a loan offer on Recio, but he's uh, playing. Edson Flores came back from Roma uh, on uh, his midseason loan. This was the guy that we had signed on our back line. He's really talented, but he only got a youth work permit and cannot play for the big league club. So I have 
a contract offer out to him, putting him up in the five to six hundred thousand dollar range, and I hope that qualifies him for a uh, a full work permit. Because what I'd like to do is add him into our registration and you know to replace Courtney who we're going to have to move the other thing I was contemplating was bringing Henrik Walter back remember we had to loan him out he started for us last year and he suffered a broken leg in training literally two days after I traded or signed the transfer agreement for Chris Courtney, which scrapped those plans because that was the first thought on my head. So the transfer pending is on Flores. I have not accepted it yet because I'm hoping he signs the contract and then I put him into our uh, into our side. The other thing I've got going on is I do have a bid in on someone else. A uh, couple of guys, a couple of young guys. So we do have some contract offers out. Uh, Connor Morgan is Welsh, which may or may not help me any. Pat March is the guy that I'm hoping that can come in and play the wingers and spot fill in the central mid. Pretty good. Uh, he's got a couple of bids on him from uh, MLS, which is a little off-putting. We are currently scouting him, but I like his ratings. And uh, I think he could be a benefit. I may also end up moving Franaschini. He is our top goal scorer, but I really need to look to bring in some younger uh, players and find some of the find some homegrown players. Uh, I, and you know, I don't know if that means they have to have been trained at your club. That's something I'm going to have to think about. We've got some good players up here. Uh, this is another guy on, with, the, uh, with the Beatles haircut. He's actually pretty good. He could play, but again, he's Spanish, so not filling the role that I need. He's English. He's English, and he is actually pretty decent could use some benefits especially passing and technique out here but you know it is what it is also the other tactic that we're looking at is um that uh four two a uh, four two three one so we're using that uh and that's an inside forward so let's look at him he is right footed so he would actually want to be training on the attacking mid left over here because you want them cutting in and then use having their strong leg so they you play on the opposite side all right well that's enough rambling let's get into the match preview uh, we are even odds on the road against championship side so I am gonna play this tactic I may regret it I did get an email the fact that we're only evens is a little off-putting oh, Edson Edson Flores that's fine Okay. And he is on the bench, so he could make his debut today. I haven't registered him. I wonder if during the month of January just the the it's open. Prove a point today. Let's do that. All right, Tuati with the throw in, deep into the box. 
Oh, Taylor catches a header out on a volley, tries to send it back in. Praise. They're overwhelmed. All right, Douglas hauls it in. I found a keeper that I was very interested in, but after I looked at him, he wasn't a ton better than Douglas. I mean, he was just a, a, a smidge better. Uh, over the top, and the, oh, Franaschini with a perfectly timed run through the back line. Oh, yes. Number eight on the season. That was brilliant. And he broke right there. Oh, nice ball. And he caught it out of the air. Oh, nice. Brilliant. All right, Martin into Froggett. Oh, Paul Pogba was, uh, looks like he's going to move. Robinson comes back and makes a nice play on the ball. Aguilera finds Danny Olmo, plays it out wide to Taylor. Drops it off outside to Tuati, crossed in. Not very good. Courtney comes back to re get it. Danielle brings it back up into the attacking third. Looking to break down the Norwich defense. Oh, there's a nice through ball with a square. Aguilera. Uh, not even close to being on target. I kind of like these blue kits. We don't wear those very often. So we dominated that first half, only managing a one goal advantage. All right, um, prove a point. Watch your step, avoid another booking. You may or may not have noticed a glitch right there at the end of the half. Uh, I had to pause the recording. Uh, I had made a request of my wife to uh, cook something particular. Danny Olmo with the steal. Franaschini. Oh, what a placement across the face of the goal. 2 nothing. Get in there, son. Uh, so I had to find a recipe for her. It was one I had tagged her in on Facebook, but she said it was too long ago. I said, well, that's not my fault. <laughs> you should have cooked it for me a long time ago. All right, pretty happy with that. Do we do we take him? Out? Eh. Russo. Let's put Russo in for him. Courtney, we could pull. Well, maybe we could pull him out. We'll put Riccio in right now. There's a ball played deep back. Taylor corrals that in. Oh, just drives into the center. Oh, come on. Oh, that was just a lackadaisical. Shit, who was that? All right, Aguilera squared. Russo out to Riccio. Oh, shot high. We're putting some pressure on him. 15 to 1 on shots. All right. Um, let's give a uh, God dog. Yeah, let's give Flores his debut. Get in there, son. Make a difference. Oh, somebody put it in. Aguilera, nice. Did that bounce off? How did he get credit for the goal? Does he hit? Oh, no, that's Aguilera here. Oh, I think Jara. 
I think Jara chested it into the goal. Probably should have been an own goal. We'll take it. We will take it. Aguilera suits from range. What are we doing on tactics here? Work into the box. Yeah, there's nothing about shoot on sight. Nothing. Four minutes of stoppage time. Russo picks up his third yellow of the season. Played over the top. Oh, nobody made the run. I think they were looking for Robinson to make a run there. Ida? Offsides. All right. Solid, solid win for us. Easiest win we've had in a minute. Excellent efforts. Very happy. And I guess we'll go ahead and come back for Lester since we're right here. They're fifth in the table. Would like to see, all right, $218,000. Um, he didn't sound very convinced. All right, Franaschini scores a brace. Give him some praise. Liverpool. I would like to see who we're going to play here. Thomas Christensen, that's the former uh, Leeds manager. All right, there is our signing. So if he, all right, the fans are pretty happy. All right, here's the draw. Um, I, I'm just too many to hit it that often. All right, West Brom versus Middlesbrough or Liverpool. Ah, that's a bummer. It's not a good draw for us. Odds are it'll be Liverpool. All right, let's look at. All right, so we've got March coming in, right? There he is. All right, but he does not. He is homegrown. That's excellent. And he's also under 23, so I don't have to register him. And we're still going to lose Chris Courtney. So I probably still need to look at signing somebody for him. Now, Mark Kelly, Mark hasn't played a lot. And he's he's not bad. He's not great, but he's not bad. That would be the guy to replace Courtney. Joe Riley has decided to retire, but you know what? I could put 
Yeah. I, I just don't want him to play. That's the problem. I just don't want him. I don't want him in the match. Oh, well. Uh, we'll see you guys back for Lester here in just a second. All right, so we've had a little action in the days leading up to today's match. Um, Flores was granted a work permit, so he is now eligible to play. Um, problem is he is not British. He is Colombian, and even though he's under 23, he does not... He has to be registered to play because he's not uh, European or he's not English. So we are in a conundrum. Uh, all right, let's see. want to make sure I'm looking at everybody up here the right way. Um... All right, so Chris Courtney, he's leaving at the end of the month or the beginning of next month. So we need to go ahead and get him off the books, but he counts as homegrown. So if I take him out, I can't add anybody unless they're homegrown into that spot, right? So we're going to have to keep him there for the time being. Pat March is British, counts as homegrown, but does not have to be registered because he is under 23. But he's in the squad. Okay. Um, what I think I'm going to do, I just listed... Uh, Edson Flores is a foreigner. I've gone ahead and added him in. And I took out Baliku, who is the, a foreigner that is injured for up to two more months. So I'd rather have somebody for the whole time than maybe just three months. Especially, I mean, he's, you know, Flores is really good. So... That's going to be our a foreign move, but I really need to weed out some foreign players. I went way too hard there, I'm afraid. Um, Henrik Walter is injured, so he's not eligible anyway. Uh, Grasser is only out for a couple of more weeks. He's been playing a good bit. Uh, the other guy that I, I have placed... Um, I've placed Russo on the transfer list. I've offered him out to clubs. And that's going to lead me to have to get a probably get another English striker, which is good. I mean, I need, you know, because I need I need English players here. Um, but I've offered him, and I think I'm going to go ahead and offer out Eusty too. 14... Let's do for 13 and 30, 25. So I just offered those guys up. We're going to confirm selections. I'm going to come and, you know, we'll work on this again before the end of the month, but that is what it is. All right. Uh, against Leicester, we're at home, which we've been selling out, by the way, the whole 38,000, the full smash. So uh, that's good. We've been very competitive with Leicester, but not dominant. They're favored on the road. So we're at home. Calm, drizzle. They're favored. So I'm, I'm going to go with this tactic. I'm going to break out our 4-4-2. All right. Courtney, El Amrani, Giannoni, Tuati, Douglas on the back, Rice and Aguilera in the mid, Olmo Taylor on the wings, March comes in and will start up top, and Franashini. Now, my idea for March is more to play him, he's either footed, is to play him at one of the inside forwards when we're playing 
that tactic. That's the goal. But we're only going to play that when we're favored, right? So not today. And we've had some success there. Some of our games that we're, where we've scored some goals uh, have been in that area. And you can see we've got Malone on the bench. Russo hasn't made it. Flores is in there. Um, I'm going to, let's start Flores on the right side. Tuati is kind of jaded. He needs a little bit of a rest. Uh, was it Tuati? Maybe I got my names mixed up. Yeah, he's at 91%. Uh, El Amrani is fitness. Do I start somebody else? I don't really have. Actually, you know what I could do? Where's Danielle? Danielle's at 94. You know what? Let's, uh, Banagimi. He's unregistered. He's injured. He's already starting. Let's put Morgan Harris back there. Let him play a little bit. We're good. Uh, Pat March. Let's give him uh, number nine. Usually I auto submit, but that was a guy that I figured would be a starter and he's young, so we'll pump him up just a little bit. All right, prove a point today. They're pretty fired up by that. All right, Lester's in the blue. West Brom in the jail uniforms that we favor. Praise. And I need to change this one over to our club. Don't know why that's this is a uh, this is in the skin. So this is something skin related, I'm afraid which means you just have to deal with it, right? Three to three on shots. Our our possession is crap. Oh, Douglas comes out and makes a nice snag. All right, he lumps it out. Flores on the run. Well, that's a big boy, huh? Oh, what a shot by Pat March in his debut. Get in there, son. Two of our youngsters. Flor uh, no, Flores made his debut last match. That's a big, he's big, man. How big is he? But look at this. What a ball. Dropped it right in front on the bounce. March puts it into the net. And we are off the mark. And that looks great. Um, Flores, how big is it? Six foot five, 209. Holy crap. That dude is huge. I wish I was 209. I'm close. I'm 6'3, but I'm a little bit bigger than 209. All right. Franischini gets control, brings it up the left side. He's got a runner. He drops it in. Uh, nobody quite up there. Courtney, Danny Olmo. Oh, blocked away. Floracell, Rice, controls it, squares it into Giannone. Oh, he pings it up to March. March is looking to get it into the corner. He lays it back. Courtney into the middle to Aguilera. Uh, okay. Um, <laughs> All right, I want edit instructions. I'm already telling him to shoot less often. I'm 
So not really anything else I can tell him. And he he wasn't shooting. I mean, it wasn't like it was a long shot. I mean, he was at the top of the box. So, I mean, that was in, in shooting area. Um, disallowed. Okay, I'm pushing another player. Brendan, come on. You're better than that. Still, one nothing. Let's settle in. Settle in. All right, eight to three on shots. We're starting to control that. Possession's coming back just a little bit. Prove a point. Danny, avoid a booking. Oh, kickoff highlight. Taylor. Okay, boy, I was I was hoping for a lot, I guess. Concentrate. Danny Olmo. Too high. Not on target. Two shots on target for each. One chance for us. Oh, let's see. Uh, let's go ahead. All right, Flores, we're going to pull off for two Adi. Actually, let's bring Reclo. I'd like to rest two Adi completely if I could. Uh, Pat March is playing well. Franashini, let's bring uh, Chikwuma in for him. All right, Danny Olmo, March lays it off to Courtney. Crossed in, Aguilera. Okay, timeout. No, don't want that. Yes, I do want that. I don't want this field. Tactics, there we go. All right, Rice is a true defensive mid. All right, I was wondering if there was somebody I could swap him out with just to get him. He is killing us, killing our attack since he's not passing. Well, there's a nice little control and touch by Riccio. That was not good. Oh, good run back by Riccio to steal the ball back. Aguilera, pass it. Courtney with the run, crossed in. Ah. Courtney makes the run back. Rice, back to Harris. Rice into Aguilera. Touched out to Courtney again. Chikwuma! His first goal of the season. He's on the score sheet. Now he was hurt, and then he's just been playing behind the other guys, but... It's good to get him off the mark. Oh, that's helpful. And a two-goal advantage. Sweet. Chichukawu. Did I pronounce? I don't know if I pronounced that right. I think that's what I saw. Knocked away. Giannone. Riccio. Up into space. Plays it out to Danny Olmo. Squared in to March. God. Is there a don't shoot button? I don't care if it's an empty net or don't shoot. Oh my God. Oh no. Flora Floracell puts one in. Um Yeah, I want Aguilera off. Let's put Danielle in. I think he's probably cost us five good chances today. All right, we got unlucky there. Another set-piece goal. All right, uh, tactics. Time-wasting. Done. Confirm. Okek o Okachukwu. Yeah, something like that. All right, Riccio Taylor. Up to Danielle. Chikwuma comes back. Rice. 
Fabricio. There we go. Two to one. That's a solid win. I will take that every day of the week. Uh, yeah, we do need to tell them that uh, a good win, boys. Well done. So I don't think we come back for Manse Manchester. All right, we're back into Europa. Sweet. All right, March makes his debut. He came over from Arsenal. Chikwuma ends his goal drought. 11 matches. March, we are going to tell him that he looked really good. Very good young man. Medell from Chile. He was looking at Aguilera and Salinas. Uh, and Italy's coach was looking at Franaschini. Cool. And offers made for Russo. Now he's valued at eight and a quarter. I'm listing him at 12, 12 and a quarter. And these are Premier League clubs that are not offering even value. That's bullshit. You know what? You're going to need to do that. You're going to need to do... That. No, not that. Uh, that. And percentage of profit... They feel it's acceptable. So it's $12 million. Okay, so we need to up this one. Let's see if we can get just, let's see if we can get 12 million and just 25%. They like that too. All right, so we'll sell him. I hate to move him, but you know he he looks like a very young, talented prospect, but he's just not playing enough. I'm going to keep the guy that is Northern I Irish rather than Italian. Not that I'm discriminating. We've already gone through the roster, and I need more European, you know, more UK players. De at least English. I don't know if uh, Wales and Northern Ireland and those other areas, if they count as homegrown or not. Um, I hope they do, but I don't know. So, he's going to be leaving. When he's gone, then I can go back into the transfer market and look for an English player. Doesn't have to be a striker per se. No offers for Eusti. I'm going to ask him to speak to clubs. All right, so he'll get on it. For Jesus. He's valued at 1.6. I don't mind letting him go. Uh, well, then I'm going to ask for at least one, 1. 1.6, right? Uh, back down, no. I tell you what, I'll come down to 1.3. Okay, I'll sell him at a slight loss. It's significantly more, almost double what they offered. I think we're all right with that. So we'll accept any and all offers of a higher value. So then what I need to go now and look and make sure I've got a backup keeper that I can bring up. Or recall from loan. I think I've got one out on loan. 
but I can do all that off camera. So let's take a look at where we're at. So we picked up a couple of wins. Good deal. We're on a nice, a nice run with just that one loss out of the last nine. That's great. We're seventh position, 38 points. Man United's got two in hand, though. So we really need to catch Leicester or Man City. That's a big win over Leicester, though, because they're one of the clubs above us that we're chasing. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, so where do we come back now? We were going to come back for the two Manchester games. Let's come back for... Where's the next FA Cup game at? Um, I don't know. Didn't we? We won. We drew. We drew the match already. Oh, we're waiting for them to play. It's Liverpool, isn't it? So we, if if the fourth round is somewhere in here, we'll come back for that. If, it, if it's not until later, then we'll plan on coming back for Brighton and Arsenal. Then we can catch up on transfers. Uh, don't forget on the 6th is when we lose, uh, uh, what's his name? Courtney, uh, our, our fullback, uh, so our left back. So we need to make sure to pull him off of the... Um, registered squad and once Russo signs somewhere else we're gonna have to make a couple of moves we may have some guys that we want to bring up from the u23s although I don't I don't think so I don't know about that I was looking uh, there's this guy but again he's Spanish doesn't help me uh, I'd have to get and I'd have to up his salary, which I don't mind because he's good enough to play now. I mean, he could take Russo's spot as a striker, but I'm I'm looking for those English players that count as homegrown because uh, right now we're just up against it. You know, we don't have enough of those uh, in the squad. What about uh, no? Cause see, he's only one and a half star. Jeremy Williams. He's possible, but he needs, even as a winger down here, he needs to get better in his technicals. Yeah. Can I maybe... Dribbling. Yeah, not good. I can maybe make him, I mean, he, he might be able to start as a winger for me, but he's under 18, so he doesn't have to. Anyway, I've got some things that I'm going to have to keep an eye on. Uh, we're making some moves that I wasn't really hoping to make, but we're kind of being forced into it. And uh, so, yeah, when we come back, we'll catch up on anything that I've done there. If you don't mind, hit that like button for me. It lets me know you like what you're seeing, want to see more. Uh, also, it helps other people find the videos, which I certainly appreciate. Subscribe if you haven't done it yet or if you're new to the channel. If you are, welcome. And we will see you guys next time. Have a good one. Bye.